When you've got good friends there. Hello, welcome to The Jeff Show. Uh, this is a product review show uh, that we do every single day of the, of the year. And we make sure to only do it on uh, Mondays. Uh, that, uh, that was my British dialect. And I did it uh, because I know that a lot of my uh, uh, friends and f- uh, family over in uh, Engl- England are having a lot of trouble with um, what's going on over there, and um, that was my way of letting them know that I support um, their exit or or not exit um, from the rest of the uh, country lands, and um, and I stand with you um, regardless, uh, uh, because as as we all know, I have a great affinity for the. Um, uh, for the English. Uh, today is uh, September 9th, and I am here, uh, um, as always, with my, uh, with my good friend and, um, and a, a really a good a co-host. Um, Peter. This has been such a great week. It's almost too hard for me to speak on it because the excitement would actually make my mouth literally explode. And I want to just go through and tell you some of the most wonderful things that have happened this week. Uh, The first off, and I am so pleased uh, to say this, as you know, last week we had said that uh, we were hoping to get to 500 subscribers uh, so that Amazon would finally approve our affiliate links. Of course, we didn't get there because nothing ever goes uh, my way. Uh, But we did get to 400 and 77 and apparently um peter uh that was enough for us to get approved uh for our amazon affiliate links and this is something that is very very uh exciting to me uh it's something that peter and i um had often stayed up late at night um just talking and 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 fantasizing about what what would it be like what would it be? What would it be like someday um, to get that Amazon affiliate link? What? What would it? What? How would our show change? W- what would we be able to sell? And all those nights, just laying in bed together and snuggling and whatnot. Um, and, and and it finally happened. The fantasy is now a reality. And. Um, and I'm so excited about that. And I just, I personally want to say that I am very sorry to Jeff Bezos for all the hard um, words that I said. I don't believe that you are actually a licking dick hole. And, um, and I just want to say for everyone on the internet, um, you're, you're not a soft bitch. And I just want that to be clear. So thank you, Jeff Bezos, for everything that you've done for the world and for The Jeff Show. Also, we had a little bit of fan art, and this is the first time that's ever happened, and I can't imagine that anybody would have spent any time on us at all, but they did. And uh, this uh, uh, young person on Instagram at the account Torlinga Sketches uh, uh, drew a little picture of Pete and I. And I think this picture is incredibly accurate. First of all, it shows me as being handsome and intelligent and smart and really in command of the show, which all of those things I am. It also shows you looking a little bit um, dopey, Peter. And it shows you wearing sort of a silly shirt, which we all know you can't seem to help yourself from doing. And um, it shows you really kind of um, in a very beta uh, position, you know. And I love this picture, and I think everybody should go follow that person on Instagram uh, because what an amazing gift for us to get a little bit of fan art. And if you want to do some fan art for us, uh, please do it because um, certainly we could make it into a competition and then decide who's really the best fan. But right now, none of you are are the best fans except for the person that most recently did fan art since they were the only ones who've done it. Um, So that's cool. What What a neat little thing for us all to look forward to. Also, I just want to say, I uh, came across a comment this week that I'd like to address, Um, and it came from somebody named uh, 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 um, Elder Statue, Statue. Um, and it says, Pete, I want you to know that you have the right to uh, a a safe uh, workplace environment, and that Jeff is infringing on those rights, um, as exhibited in this video, and I didn't... um, read the rest of the comment, but I did skim it. And basically what Elder, uh, Mr. Elder Statue uh, said is that he is going to represent Pete in a legal way against me um, based on however I've been touching you. And I really don't think that I've been touching you in any way that would um, 
uh, infringe on your rights, make you feel uncomfortable, um, do anything at all that would um, um, be wrong. Um, but uh, I do have to say this to you, Mr. Statue. Um, I was uh, on my way um, to inside to the Trader Joe's, and I was talking to somebody in the parking lot, and they were a speech uh, pathologist, and they were offering to help me with my stutter, uh, st- uh, stuttering, which I don't really have a problem with. And I found out later that this person also is a lawyer. And um, so unfortunately for you, Mr. Statue, uh, Statue uh, uh, he will be representing me against any sort of legal case that you think you might have. And of course, um, Pete will eventually uh, switch sides and we'll all counter sue you. Um, so those are things to look forward to. But the good news is this young uh, man that I met is here today. And I am going to bring him out just to make sure that everything is kosher on the show uh, for this product review. And his name is James. So come on out, uh, James. Uh, no, 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 you can sit here. Okay. James, we met in the grocery store parking lot at, at Trader Joe's. Is that correct? Yeah. And you, you, you uh, heard me stuttering, and you have been helping me ever since then um, and, uh, and work on the stuttering. And do you think my, uh, my, um, um, my, um, st- uh, my uh, stuttering is getting better? Yeah. Cool. And um, and you also uh, have decided to provide me legal representation. Is that correct? Yes. And um, and you are taking a retainer, which is a fair amount of money that money that I don't have, but I've decided to charge it onto my credit card. And I really appreciate you working in that fashion. Yeah. Um, cool. So, James, I just want you to keep an eye out um, for anything I might do that would be inappropriate, because I think that would be unfair to everybody involved. And I do want to uh, also keep an eye on Mr. Elder Statue, who seems to think that he has a complaint against this show, which he doesn't. Um, also, I did notice you are wearing the Angry King hat, and that is really exciting. And that's something you can actually buy online, which means that, um, and you made me give you that one, so I didn't make any money on it. But um, if you want one of those hats, you can always go to angrykingproductions.com slash merch, and you can buy one. Um, but you you would probably only do that if you were a real fan of the show, and it seems like so far we don't have any real fans. Cool. So let's get to the product review. And today I wanted to say this was a fun week because I asked Peter, Peter, what do you want to review? Because I'm always reviewing what I want to review, and I'm never reviewing what Pete wants to review, and mostly because what Pete wants to review is not very cool. Um, but but today I'm going to uh, uh, um, uh, let uh, let him uh, pick uh, what he wants to review. And he told me that he has a pair of copper balls. And one of them is polished and the other one is not. And so he wanted me to review them. And I think this is super cool. And I always wanted um, to review something you want to review. And what better thing than your copper balls? So why don't you uh, take your copper uh, balls out and let's uh, take a look at, um, at, at them and f- uh, feel them and see, and see if we can't review them. Oh, those are, pr- those are very cool. Um, can you see those? Can you see them, James? Yeah. Okay. And they are, uh, and what, what I love about these balls is that um, you've got two different kinds of balls, not just one. So you have um, uh, more of a rustic uh, ball and, um, and a more of a polished ball, almost a ball that I can see my face in and I can see myself talking. And I know that probably makes you happy for you to see myself in your balls. Um, and I, now I can, you, I can touch I can touch the balls, right? Yes, you can. Okay. So I just want everybody to know that my legal advisor has told me that I can touch Pete's balls. Okay. So I'm going to just, um, I'm just going to gloss across the balls and they're very smooth balls. Um, this ball is a little bit more grainy, um, which is super cool, but there's no, um, they're so clean. They're just a pair of balls and they're brass, uh, excuse me, copper, and that makes them kind of hard. You can't pinch them. Um, well, you can try to pinch them, but it doesn't work. They're really solid. They're solid balls. Uh, do you want to? Uh, you, you, do you want to attest that they're solid balls, James? Um, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So we, we, we have proof that they're solid balls, and we also um, are, 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 uh, have all uh, gotten to touch them. Now, if, I, if you don't mind, I'm just going to pick up your balls, and I'm going to um, 
hold them in my own hand and kind of swirl them around. And they really provide relaxation, which is so fun because I know sometimes people even watch the Jeff Show to relax. It's been said that we are the Jeff Show Monday relaxation, uh, the JSMR. And just listen to that. I'm just going to tap his balls. It's, it's a pleasant sound. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I just think these are super cool. Pete, I'm glad that you brought your balls um, um, uh, to the Jeff show. To, and it looks like he passed out, but that's okay because sometimes I am so um, good at what I do that I just relax people into a state of unconsciousness. But Pete, I want to thank you for what you did today and letting me touch, um, play with your balls and bringing your balls on the show for us all to look at. And next time, maybe we'll even see what they taste like. Um, because uh, I know that copper has a particular taste and we wouldn't really be able to describe that unless we put the balls in my mouth. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for coming back to the Jeff show. If you like the show, please smash that subscribe button Do do to share the video, tell your friends about the show and how good we are at product reviews and, uh, leave a comment below. If you think that I've been mistreating Pete, because certainly I don't think I have. And certainly my lawyer doesn't think I have. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the week off, which means probably you're going to take the week off since I'm the one that pays you. And uh, you can go ahead and take the week off too, even though you haven't really once again earned it because all you literally do is sit there and sometimes fall asleep on the job. And we'll see you next week. Got to be with your friends for life. You know what? I decided I'm just going to go ahead and put the balls in my mouth. Yeah, they taste like copper. I can do that, right? Sure can. <laughs>